It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from DB and it's a bottle of their Export Gold coming in at 4% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. Clear glass bottle. Here's the bottle cap. 99% sugar free, 4% ABV. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. It's exactly the same as it is in the bottle pouring into the, the glass. Both clear, clear, clear glass everywhere. Um, I, hope, I hope the beer is not too skunky. As I say that, I have a little kind of like smell of the beer. Um, so, let's, oh, look at this. Unfiltered, have a look. Let me, let me clear the frost off the glass here. You may be able to see little, there you go, little bits and pieces floating around in the glass. An unfiltered export beer from New Zealand. Interesting enough, um, crisp, light looking. Uh, it had a one finger white head, as I mentioned, 4% ABV. At this stage of the beer review, I want to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. Check out the link in the description box of the video for Beers of Europe.co.uk. I'm going to get my nose into this beer. Yeah, there's a little bit of skunkiness coming through. Um, if you want me to talk about skunkiness, if you can just give me a moment. Um, there's a lot of people out there that really know their beer. There's some of you out there that, that don't. I will get to that in a moment, the skunkiness of a beer. Um, but I want to dig into it first. I want to try it. I like to, it's okay smelling a beer and smelling a little bit of skunkiness, but it's actually in the taste. It's tolerable. That's the word, tolerable. Uh, it's a real shame. It's a real shame that brewers um, get to the stage in their brewing lives where they think it's okay to put beer in a clear glass bottle. Let's talk about the flavors first though on the mouthfeel, really crisp, really refreshing. This beer is gonna really cool you down on a hot summer's day. Uh, carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's slightly sweet to begin with. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Um, and then you have this. I'm gonna go into it now for you kind of newcomers and the people who, who know what skunkiness is. So, a little bit of science for you guys. Here we go then. Hops in a beer. If you put a beer in a brown glass bottle, it reflects the sunlight or it stops the sunlight or the UV lights in the supermarket penetrating the bottle and it's a chemical reaction. The chemical, rea chemical reaction is that the hops um, go from a lovely floral, say juicy, grapefruity, pineapple-y, mango, or if you're talking about traditional chop, uh, chops, hops, um, then you'd be thinking about kind of what we're thinking about, like stinging nettle aromas and, and, and flavors coming through. Um, the hop plant is very close in the Darwin world, the, the, the evolution of the tree or whatever they call it. Hops and stinging nettles are very close. I think they're cousins or brothers or something in the in the evolutionary scale of things. So so a nettley kind of flavor normally comes from hops. If it's more of a traditional Beer, we got that, we got it out right, so far. So what happens is that the lovely kind of floral hops, the nettley hops in the beer, if you put it in a clear glass bottle, you leave it outside in the sun for maybe even just an hour. Or if it's sitting on a supermarket shelf with the UV lights, the UV lights or the sun penetrate that clear glass and causes that chemical reaction, which turns the beer from being nicely juicy and Grapefruity and net, I keep losing that word, netly, and netly to becoming 
something that maybe comes out the back of a skunk's backside. And it's a shame, because no doubt, no doubt whatsoever, the brewer, the probably the people who own the brewery, the brewers, they will all know about skunking in beer. They will all know, because they would have been taught it when they went to brewing school. The problem we have in this day and age with with beer sales, especially on a big scale, this looks like to be one of New Zealand's biggest production brewers. I can see it by just looking at the bottle. The problem is the control gets taken away from the brewer's hands and even to an extent the owner's hands by the marketing team. The marketing team will go Ooh, wouldn't it look really nice on the supermarket shelves if you could see the beer, if you can see it clearly in a clear glass bottle. And then they kind of like, they have their way and then they do that. Okay, maybe maybe they're competing with Foster's Gold. That's, that's another clear glass bottled beer. Um, some brewers manage to, to use a chemical format where they can actually hide the, they can protect the beer by adding a chemical to the beer from skunkiness, from the beer skunking. But it's quite evident in this beer, it's more in the aroma, it's a subtle, I'm, I'm banging on about this a little bit, but definitely in the aroma it's more in the aroma and that that almost if you're a beer drinker if you're somebody who always sticks your nose into the beer first that's going to always put you on the back step that's always going to it's the first thing you do look at it smell it then taste it you look at it looks okay smell it put you on the back foot it's like colin mcgregor's just smacked you in the side of the face it's not good enough it's really not good enough for a Probably, I mean, I don't know anything about this brewery, but for a brewery of this size, they should know better. They really should know better. If you put a beer in a brown bottle, like they have done with their DB Draft, believe it or not, then you won't get the skunkiness. Let's rate the beer. Biscuit malts coming through. At least, they, at least they've used malts in the beer. Not rice and corn and all of that rubbish. Um, on a hot summer's day, if I could, if I could manage to block out that this beer's skunky, which is difficult to do, because who wants to drink something that comes out the back of it or or smells and tastes like it comes out the back of a skunk's uh, backside? Not me. Not me really. And, and neither should you. So the answer is to take back control of beers and from the marketing department. Take it back from the marketing department because yes, they might have great ideas about beer, but they don't know how to brew beer and they don't know the science behind beer. This is poor. It's a, it's a three out of 10. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.